Hello friends, today we are going to install D-Link DIR825 for the internet connection. Now DIR825 is a dual band router. The model what I have is over here. DIR825 the hardware version is J1 and the firmware version is 1.0.3. Alright, so let us see how we are going to install this router as a router. Now there are other modes as well like access point, repeater, we will see that later in the later part. First we are going to install this router as a main router. Okay. So first thing is you need to connect your laptop or a system wired or wirelessly to the D-Link router. Uh, currently I have connected using the uh, Wi-Fi. Alright, the name and the password is given at the bottom side of the router. So you can check that and you can scan for the network here. Click select the network and get connected. Uh, the password is written at the bottom side of the router. So once it is connected, you need to open up a browser and enter the 192.168.0.1 which is the default IP for the router. Once you enter that, you will get the setup wizard. Now this setup wizard stays like, dear customer, this is the first time the device is turned on. Please configure the device in order to use the internet access services. So you need to click on start. Maybe your language is English, yes. So you can select yes. You can use the advanced settings or continue the configuration with the wizard. So we are uh, we are not doing the configuration manually. We are configuring the router using the wizard. Okay. So you can click on next. Now here the connection method we need to select as wired connection. Select the work mode as router and then click on next. Now we need to select the connection type. Generally uh, we have three types of internet connection. One is dynamic, static and triple POE. Now currently what I have is dynamic connection over here. So I'm selecting the dynamic connection and then clicking on next. Now if you have a static IP address, if you have a static IP connection, then the IP address, subnet mask, gateway address, DNS will be given by your internet provider. Similarly, if it is a triple POE connection, the username and password is given by your internet service provider. Okay. So you need to select your dynamic since my connection is dynamic DHCP. So you can click on next. Now you can change the name for the Wi-Fi here and the password which is I'm keeping same as it is right now. This is a 2.4 wireless setup. So you can click on it, delete it and you can give a name of new choice. Okay. Similarly, you can set the password for it. Just have to enter the name and the password and then you can click on next. Similarly, for the 5 gigahertz, you can select the same, uh, change the name here you can change the password if you want and then click on next. Is the STP connected to the device? If you have any storage devices connected to it, you can enable it and then click on next. Currently, I do not have any, so you can click on next. If you have any VoIP devices, if you have any IP phones, you can click on enable it. You can enable it and then click on next. Now here it will ask you to set up the password for the router. I'm selecting as admin123. Then clicking on next. So here you will get the summary. You can also click on this save configuration file. One file will be saved on your computer. Uh, having all the information which you have done on the router. Okay. So you can click on apply. So once it is applied, you will see the changes in the lights. You will be able to see the new name which you have given for the routers. Over here I have not changed any name. So the same name I will be able to see. So once the router is reboot, all the LEDs on the router will be white. So you can click on it, you can click on connect. I've kept the same password. 
so you can enter the same password which is there at the bottom side of the router The device is rebooting. So you enter the password. Okay, so it is connected and you chain check the status should be internet. Once it is connected to the Wi-Fi, should be able to access the dealing page again, and it will check if you have any firmware update to be done. This router supports FOTA, which means firmware over the air. So if you have any firmware update in the future, it will automatically give you a pop-up over here. Just have to select it and then update it. So you can see the status now. It says internet connected. This is the dynamic connection what we have selected and this is the IP address which we have received by my internet service provider. So that suggests the internet is up and running and the router is configured as a main router. Okay. That's it for now. Thank you.